but do write the question and the answer and circle the answer that you think is correct and then as you're going X out the ones you think are incorrect. I will ask you about which question, which answers you think are incorrect. Coach, uh, oh, and you're also, he's taping me for this uh, test, I mean this class, so I can show it to my uh, future employee, employer, so um, you can get the... and all the answers. more minutes. Yes? Remember, we're going to, yes. Okay, you're going to get the answer. Let me at, uh, call, uh, call on somebody to give us something that's not the answer. Because when you're taking the state test, you want to eliminate some answers. So let's, who wants to eliminate an answer? Or you can eliminate two. Why would, why would that be incorrect? Uh, because it has nothing to do with spreading, and that's pretty much what the spirit of the dog is about. Like the dog is about to be Okay, right. It doesn't have anything to do with spreading uh, communism. But it did French. There was French Indochina, and that's where we, we took the place of the French in the Vietnam War. But that's not the correct answer. So we eliminated one. So well, what's your answer? D, good. He thought domin uh, communism would spread from one country to another, like dominoes. Uh, next slide. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Hold on. And, then I'm write a 
and uh, make sure you do what you normally do. Uh, Dominoes back to back. One hits another and another and another. So they thought communism would do the same thing. Okay, next slide. Uh, okay, today you're going to analyze the causes and effects of the Korean War on, on the Cold War. So the Korean War is a part of the Cold War. The Korean War was between North, South, North Korea and South Korea. And the U.S. was with South and USR, USSR <coughs> was in the North. Uh, next. Okay. We're going to watch this short video of Korean pop propaganda. And the question we're going to come up with is, could the events in this North Korean propaganda film actually happen? Why or why not? Okay, uh, film.
그런 인민군은 단기 석격전을 시작하는 때에 맞춰 미국군 태평양 사령부 휴화 전력을 강력한 대량 파괴 무기로 선제 공격하여 순식간에 제압할 것이다. 단기 석결전 마지막 날 실제로 전쟁이 터져도 대피할 곳이 없는 서울 시민들은 대혼란 속에 빠질 것이다. 전기공국, 식수공국, 식량공국, 시가스공국, 차량 연료공 방망, 통신망, 방송망이 끊어질 것이다. 서울만이 아니라 남측 다른 지방 도시들도 사정은 마찬가지일 것이다. 이날 실제 전투는 거의 없을 것이고 인민군이 점령지역에서 치안을 유지하고 공급 체계를 복구하는 안정화작점이 벌어질 것이다. 이처럼 인민군의 통일대전 시나리오는 3일 만에 끝나는 전쟁 시나리오다. 미국 군부가 미국 남자선연합군의 진전쟁 시나리오를 컴퓨터 보고 신호으로 계속 연습하면서도 그 결과를 언론에 공개하지 못하고 전전 긍긍하는 까닭을 알수 있습니다. <목소리> So with, yeah. with the forces we have now, stationed and, uh, in and Korea? And their army, I mean, even if that wasn't, that wouldn't suffice, that, you know, we'd have the Navy right there. Okay. The, the rest of our troops, I mean, it's, it wouldn't be anything to invade the rest of our troops. Okay, good. So Kai, you're saying that uh, we'd be victorious and they would have no chance they're, they're at all. We have the biggest army Uh, does anybody have a different opinion or uh, want to add? To like kill people or you're just going to get shot. Okay. Like today, you're just going to get shot. Going to get shot? Okay. I think it's kind of dumb that they use it as a propaganda because it's like they're telling people what they're going to do instead of saying how they're going to sneak up on them. Like, yeah, we, we just saw that video. Like, yeah, we okay. So, <laughs> yeah, so we, yeah, we, we know they're coming. We definitely know they're coming. Wait, they they're are so coming? confident. Yeah, they, they said they yes, they definitely sound confident. And why would they be confident? What um, what are some of the aspects of the? Does anybody know about? Uh, okay. What? The the president of North Korea. <laughs> they all believe anything that he says. So basically, his word is. And how? Yeah, they should believe everything. How big is North Korean army? It's the second biggest really? in the world, yes. And they're a small area. Uh, next slide. Okay. Um, actually, go to the next slide and then come back. Do you want to write this up there? Hold on. Okay. So, uh, North Korea has the largest, well, the second largest standing army in the world. And it's about the size of Mississippi. So, so if we have, you know, think about Mississippi and think about all the American forces all in Mississippi. So uh, North Korea could pack some of a punch. Uh, but we have, as, as y'all are saying, we've got, the, we've got the army to smash them back right quick so they won't get, any, get, get anywhere. Okay, uh, back one slide. Okay, this this is notes. So we'll be taking notes. How do you need to take notes? Just write everything or summarize. And what I've seen, there's not many dates on the. Uh, in on our test. So 
I just need to know, y'all knew that uh, the Korean War came before the Vietnam War. So, and it's after World War II. But uh, the beginning of the 20th century till uh, a little bit after World War II, uh, Japan conquered Korea. So Japan was, had a big army and was conquering all these different lands. They even conquered some of uh, China. So uh, during the World War, the uh, Soviet Union took over the North and the U.S. took over the South. At that point, Korea was divided along the 38th parallel. Uh, does anybody know what the 38th parallel is called? Okay. You heard of the initials DMZ? So 38 par parallel is the DMZ, which is the demilitarized zone. But you have like a lot of electric fences, you have a lot of guard towers, and that's where North and South Korea meet sometimes to discuss. And this division of South Korea was supposed to be temporary. And they were, after the war, they said, yeah, we'll just do this for a little while. But it, it turned into much longer, even as we saw in the video up till today. Why don't we just enjoy why? Uh, good, good question. Um, it's kind of like uh, invading Japan in World War II. If we would have invaded the island of Japan, we'd have lost a lot of people, uh, a lot of soldiers. And so um, and the only way we could really, so we use nuclear weapons, go ahead. Um, I mean, since they, since we know about the, the three-day strike or whatever, I mean, we we would lose lives anyways, regardless. Yes, yes, we would, we would, and I <coughs> and what that propaganda is kind of like what you do in poker, bluff, because they know if if they decide to cross the line then that would be kind of the end of that. They would have uh, nuclear warheads showering down on them. Very good question, Kai. So, uh, the U.S., uh, Soviets, <coughs> and before that, Japan, uh, occupied Korea. Uh, so, let me answer this question. How would you feel that the, if the U.S. was occupied by another country? Uh, they had, like, they had the, Mex say this, they had the Mexican-American War before, and we took California, Arizona, and a couple other states from Mexico. What if Mexico decided to uh, take that back from us? If you were a citizen of California, how would you feel if you had Mexican cartels in your, uh, in your neighborhood? How would you feel? Would you feel good, bad? Well, like drug cartels? If, if 
So the cartels are still working in in America, but not officially, and not as a um, agent of the Mexican government. That's no, good, very good. Yeah. So I, I, I wouldn't mind. Um, okay. Um, next slide. Okay. So we have again the 30th parallel, and that's called what? DMZ. Which is uh, zone. Okay, good. Okay, so you have the two capitals, Pyongyang and Seoul, and North Korea is uh, has its border with China. Okay, uh, next slide. Okay, so it was a north versus south thing, like east versus west coast. North. It was, com it was communist because it started under Russia, and Russia and China wanted to keep it communist. And the first leader of North Korea was Kim Il Sung. So, in the South, the, the part that's led by America and other UN forces. They had an anti-communist led by Sigmund Rhee. What did you say his name was? Kim what? Kim Il Il Sung. It's not it's not two. It's Il. Oh, like I Il I. Right. Yes. And South the South said, "Hey, the, <coughs> we're all Korea. This whole thing is Korea. It is." Instead of South Korea, it is Korea. North Korea says, all Korea is North Korea. So you have a big, big conflict. So can somebody tell me, is this Sang Mun Ri or Kim Il Sung in the picture? Kim Il Sung. The, let's flip it around. Um, uh, in the background is a South Korean flag, so you kind of have to know your South Korean flags for that one, but very good. Uh, and then behind them is the kind of wavy lines, it's the yin and the yang. What's the yin and yang? Hmm? Next slide. Okay, so as I said at the beginning, we're going to go over the causes and effects 
of the Korean War. Short-term causes. Um, after, during World War II, uh, the U.S. and Japan were fighting. And after the World War II, we started giving aid to Japan. And at the same time, they let us put our military installations in Japan to be near to North Korea. And then uh, North Korea was saying, ooh, we may be, be getting invaded by the U.S. So uh, the, uh, Kim Il-sung went to Stalin and asked, hey, can I attack the South? And Russia's Stalin said, yes, and I'll give you some money. And I'll give you some money quick, but I'm not going to give you not going to give you any men, or uh, not going to get involved directly in any way. So in the middle of 1950, North Korea invaded South Korea. So they went from the 38th parallel DMZ. Okay, all the way to Pusan. Okay. Uh, when you come back, finish uh, writing these notes. Thank you.